Hey, uh, what I'm going to do today is I've got this new um, new uh, Colt. He's a uh, stud Colt. Uh, they call him call him Junior, and uh, he's uh, he'll be three. It's currently February, and he'll be three in uh, this September. So this is 2024. Um, he's a big he's a big guy. Uh, hasn't. Uh, I'm just going to start working with him and see where he is. I don't know where he is yet. I mean, he's been, he's real gentle and everything. And, uh, but we're just going to take him through some paces. Nothing, um, nothing crazy. This is what he's doing. He's trying to bite right now. So, um, just going to work with him. I'm going to do some round penning with him. Nothing too serious because he's, he's only been here, um, been here. This will be his second day. So, uh, but I just want to do, want to exercise him around a little bit and see where he is. And you can see he's, he's actually pushy and he's in my space. So we'll see where he goes. Hey, here we go. Let's see where he is. Now you see he's, got to get him out of my space here. I'm just going to get him moving around a little bit. Just get a feel for him. That's all. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. He's a big boy. So I gotta get him moving. Okay, I see that. That's just this is all normal. This is this is like a protest stuff. Horses will do this. See, I, he's turning his rear end toward me. Going, they'll do this kind of stuff. This this is all normal. Nothing to really be worried about or anything. You know, doesn't mean he's bad or anything. Just this is what horses do. Okay, so he's not he's not uh, for a bobbin. You know, move like this probably. So, anyhow, let's see what he is. That uh, mares will do that too. They do their head thing like that. And uh, see how he's doing. He's kind of protesting. He's trying to challenge me. So see that how he's kicking at me. He's all he's protesting this. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't think he should listen to me. Now blowing out, that's normal. See this is the kind of stuff. <clears throat> He's a really nice horse. They took really good care of him. And so what I'm gonna do, what I'm just trying to do here is move him, okay? Um, horses, I've I've seen different people talk about uh, they call it chasing a horse around or something like that and they're kind of derogatory about it and I, I really don't think they know or have been around in a lot of horse behavior but horses will do this to one another um, right right off the bat when you put them in with new horses. If you have any sort of number of horses you'll see this kind of stuff all the time and a horse will They'll be conscious of where that other horse is and then they'll move that horse in and out of their space, you know, or be moved by another horse, depending on the horse. See, this is, he's, this is, see how he's arching his rear end towards me? He's, this is, that's kind of a threatening sort of thing. And see how he wanted to change direction and I didn't let him change direction. Now I'm just walking, okay? I'm not being, really aggressive or anything but I am being deliberate and persistent <clears throat> he's not liking it so now he's starting to try to change direction just show me that he can kind of do what he wants to do so I just move him off with the flag and the key with the flag too is to try to have different volumes I call it like volumes or you know like levels you don't always want to be coming out with, with everything you got. You want to start off light, but when I'm, like when he's doing this kind of stuff, see how he, he cut across the corner there, or the circle, he's trying to, he's not, he was, he's coming into my space. And um, some people talk about it being respect. And for a lot of people, you know, have issue with that. I think they're, I think they're just thinking about it differently. If a horse, if a horse is, um, I'm 
try not to use the word respect, but maybe, okay, honor. They honor that another horse in the field, okay? Like a, or, or if they think like, uh-oh, I better listen to that horse. I call it respect, okay? Whatever you want to call it. But if, if there's a horse that they think is here above them, they'll, that horse says jump, they'll say basically how high. They don't say, come on, move, move, move. See how he keeps, he keeps trying to kick at me. Um, they don't, they say, um, the, the horse will listen to another horse. See how he's, this is all, this is stud behavior. See how he's like pawing at me, jumping at me. He's kind of trying to show me how, how strong and tough he is, virile, you know? Like he's a, you know, he's something. See, this is that head thing. He should be something that I should listen to. But I just got to show him through kind of persistence that he should listen to me. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go a lot better. You saw when I was first introducing this, how he was, he was kind of all over me, like in my space and everything. Not a good, not a good thing to get. It's not like, not like anything's wrong with him or anything. It's just, that's what we got to change. We got to change that kind of stuff. We just got to get him to realize I have a personal space that he shouldn't invade without being asked into it. And like I tell people, a lot of times is we wouldn't care if horses were two pounds, like a little chihuahua. We don't want to care. They could jump all over you all you want, and no one will give her give a rip because you're not going to get hurt. But these guys are thousand pounds. And if they're not, if they step on you or don't think they should, they should watch and be mindful of, of your personal space, they'll step on you, strike you, kick you, bite you, anything like that. So he keeps wanting to turn around. He's challenging me. He's just, and I'm trying not to put too much into the words I'm saying you know, like challenge and all this kind of stuff. This is, I'm just talking about in just real natural horse behavior, okay? I'm not talking, I'm not talking about, not, I'm not thinking like people. I'm just thinking like this is how they, they do it. Like when a stud, when a stud starts to get to his age, probably in another year even, he's gonna, they'd be in a, he'd be in a bachelor band because he would have been driven out by the, the stud that had his own family of mares, okay? And I don't know exactly how many they can maintain at a time, but I don't think it's a too many. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's over 20. I think it's more like in the single digits, like eight, 10, 12, something like that, a stud can defend. Well, when those foals get to be a certain age, the stallion will drive the them away the the males and come on and he'll drive them away and then they form bachelor bands a lot of a lot of herd animals do this like elephants will do this and stuff and what's interesting with horses is the bachelor band when they have the bachelor band because they need to be in numbers you know for safety when they do that the um their testosterone levels go down almost to that of a gelding. But then at some point, one of those horses will mature and he'll, his testosterone level will, will rise and then he'll go and challenge another stallion for his mares. And they usually do that <clears throat> in the beginning of spring. And... Um, yeah, the beginning of spring, and uh, they'll, they'll combat boom. And then once the stallion proves himself to the mares, they'll stick with him once he's bred them. They don't switch much. And then he doesn't usually let other mares in either. They kind of have what they, can, what they can handle. And so he's, he's somewhere in that young age, like approaching the, he'd be in a bachelor band right now, or he, you know, and so, and they, and colts, like him, like a stud colt, he's intact, he's 
basically a stallion. Um, see how he's doing that with his butt? He's just still challenging me. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, his, you know, they'll, they'll challenge each other and fight and play fight constantly. If you put Colts together, I mean, they just constantly are at each other and, and bite each other in the front legs and climb on their backs and do all sorts of stuff. And unless I tell him that's not appropriate with me, he would just naturally do that with me. You know, especially a domestic horse that's gentle and friendly. They, they just, that's natural horse behavior. So, you know, why, would he, why wouldn't he do that, right? And so this is the kind of stuff you got to teach them. Hey, I'm, I'm different, you know. And I'm gonna move you around, and you're gonna, you know, and this will this will help him. Uh, it's like etiquette, you know. So, this is what we're doing right now. <clears throat> the lady who had him before took really good care of him. He's in really good shape. Very nice. He's a very heavy built horse. There you go. See, I still took his butt out to me like that, right? So what I'll do, like I just want to get a feel for this. Now I'm going to switch directions. All right. I'm going to pointing off to the side. He doesn't know any of this stuff yet. So. See, I was ignoring me. So now I got him moving off this way. Okay, easy. I'm exhaling. When you're working with a horse, if you exhale like that, it slows your heart rate down and they'll, they'll respond, especially when you're in the saddle, they, they help them calm down. So I start that on the ground. And one of the things I'll do, like if you notice like when he, he kept turning his rear end towards me. And so now what I'll do is I'll focus on his rear end like there when I'm, when I'm going to put pressure on it. And um, I will, I will, like I will stare at it. And um, when I, when I flick the flag, it, I will flick the flag directly at it like I'm casting, like you're casting a fishing, fishing line. You're trying to hit a certain fishing hole, like a certain spot where you think a fish is. You cast right at it. So I'm going to start to focus on that rear end. And what that will do is that will, he'll go, oh my gosh. And he'll hopefully start to, um, take his rear end away and that'll by doing that then he'll turn his head towards me see how he's looking out this is all very normal horse behavior he's not and he was all over me when I introduced him and um, but not not really in a good way you know what I'm saying good that he's gentle but he he doesn't he didn't understand I have any sort of personal space and um, this will help him really a lot. So I'm going to give him direction. He doesn't know what this means. I'm going to cluck. He's not responding to that. So now I'm going to put some pressure on him and get him to move off. Okay. See how he's licking his lips and stuff? His, he's having a change in his parasympathetic system, his nervous system, and, and it's a sign of relaxation, something, you know, he's thinking. So now I'm going to cast right at his rear end. Keep it up. Okay. Now I'm going to do it again. See how he's doing it? Look. See, he's kicking right when I put pressure. What do you do? He kicked it. He's telling me his head behavior is exactly what it looks like. He's telling me yeah, I'm not down with this. I don't necessarily care for you, you know. Um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be made to do something. 
So now I'm gonna step out in front of him. And I'm gonna give it the other direction. There you go. Get him to move off. And like I said, I don't want to do too much with him normally because he's he's uh, hasn't been here. It looks like he's limping a little bit. Could just be stiff. So he's probably stiff. But I don't want to stop it like a bad thing. I'm trying to get him to. There, trying to get him to look at me. There you go, good. And I'm gonna turn and step away, give him a release from pressure. And see what he does. Like I said, I don't wanna work him too much at all because he just got here, but I did want to, he needed some exercise anyway, but I do want to just see, come here. See if he'll come up here now. And see like a horse that, a horse that is, like say you have a horse that's standoffish, you would work on drawing him in and then, and then driving away but more drawing in. When you have a horse like him that was all up in my space, I have to do the drive away and, and get that through to him. And then, and then it's always a balance because you just can't have away, you gotta have return, you know, and draw into you. So that's, uh, there's always a balance. So you're going back and forth between those things. Now I'm gonna walk up and see what he does. Now see, he may just walk away, but okay, if he doesn't, good. Now my demeanor, I wish you could see, I'm just like walking up to him real like nothing. So now I just touch him on the forehead and I'm gonna turn and walk away. And that is a way to just tell him, hey, we're buddies, you know, don't worry about it. Um, I don't hate you. You know, I don't want you to leave the country. Uh, and that's what a, another horse would do. They chase him and then eventually, once the horse, the other horse goes, okay, you're the boss or whatever, then they would, that, that, that horse that chased him away might groom him and stuff like that. Now, sometimes they don't if they, if, sometimes they just don't like another horse, but that's a lot of times they'll do that to, to reassure the family bonds, you know what I mean? So here we go, I'm gonna give him some direction again. All right, see, he's already picking up on it. I didn't even do the flag, so I'm just gonna let, let that go like that. Good, good. Now I'm gonna flick the flag a little bit, get his attention. Good, good, good. See, I'm flicking the flag. You can't see. I'm just barely flicking it here. And uh, trying to get his attention. Look at him looking. Chewing there. Good. Good. So then I'm going to go. Now he's yawning. See, he's, his nervous system is relaxing now. And now I'm gonna to touch him on the forehead again. There you go. And you know, the reason we do that is there's no point in doing a lot of like loving on him. You just get him stirred up. And horses, they actually do very slight touches to one another and how they approach one another and everything, okay? So we're kind of mimicking that. It kind of works. I, I got that from Pat Puckett. If you watch Pat Puckett, he's got a great YouTube channel and he'll just touch him on the forehead. And he'll even say to take your pinky like to the corner of the one eye and your thumb to the corner of the other eye. And when you touch like, like that, it 
connects it to both sides of their brain. Um, it's fascinating, um, and I've been doing that a lot, just touching them like like that. Um, what you don't want to do with a stud a stud horse. I see he's coming up now. I'm going to stop him. I'm just going to tell him that's good. That's close enough. What you don't want to do with them is you don't want to rub them like on their chest there, like right there. That's an erogenous zone. So I'm, he, he thought he'd come in, so I just told him no. You know, um, on the legs, like touching their legs, not that you would touch that as, a, as an affection thing, but that's what they'll do. They'll, they'll bite each other on the legs. So when you, like say the horse steps, like a stud horse steps into your space, like he steps close to your foot or on, almost on your foot. A lot of times with another horse, you would just, you would just catch him with your foot, the leg, and, and you know, knock him, like just touch him back into place, right? If you do it with a, a, a stallion, you know, just be aware that when you do that, a lot of times they'll stomp their foot down real fast and hard, and and just got to be ready for it, okay? And so, um, not that you don't get them out of your space, but that's the kind of stuff they do. Some different no, back up. They do some different behavior like that, okay? And so, you don't want to you don't want to simulate like they're play fighting, okay? That's a bad idea. Now this right here is a, it doesn't look like we're doing much of anything, but he wants to come in. And I, this, I, I, with the flag, and you, you notice I didn't go like nuts with it. I just lifted up a little bit, just as minimal as I needed. Now, if he kept coming, it, I'd have got large, okay? But I just did enough to keep him back. So now he's learning that, hmm, this guy, I just can't walk in whenever I feel like it. And, mouth on him and nibble on him and and do all the stuff that I done most of my life you know he he's realizing that that's not going to work between us and that's the kind of stuff that we talk about respect so just think of personal space I know people get bugged up about the word respect but just think personal space you know minding someone's personal space kind of things like that not taping taking liberties like you wouldn't take liberties with a stranger on the street and just go up and touch them or anything or even get close to in their space it's just we just know that it's not something you do as humans now if it's a friend or something yeah you'd hug them or whatever but you wouldn't do that to a stranger well I'm a stranger to him why does he feel like he can just walk in and and get in my space, you know, get to invade my personal space, like be a closed talker, right? <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that I'm teaching him right now. And so he's going to walk off. Now I'm going to, I'm going to drive him off. If you're going to walk off, you're going to get dr driven off. <laughs> you try to take these little opportunities to make something your idea, you know, like... So, see how he's doing it? His head thing, he didn't, he didn't appreciate that, okay? Which is, it's fine, he doesn't have to. He will eventually, he'll we'll get a really good relationship and um, he'll, he'll be, it's like a, a child who's a hellion and the, kid, the parents never discipline him, never teach him anything, never teach him how to behave, they can't take him to restaurants or her. You know, they act, they have fits, and do all this kind of stuff. Well, they're, they're setting the child up to have a horrible, some horrible relationships and stuff because they don't, they don't know how to behave, and people don't want to be around them and stuff like that. Well, that's what, you know, I just want to, I want to give him the best shot at being around people. And, you know, he's, he's probably going to be 1,200 pounds, and he needs to not come into people's space until he's invited. You need to not take liberties with people, you know? And so I'm just trying to teach him how to be a well-mannered horse in, in our human world. And uh, now I'm going to touch him on the forehead again. Now see, he kind of thinks, he kind of knows what's coming. There, good boy. 
And I'm going to back up. And I'm going to see if he comes to me here. And if he does, I'm going to let him come about half that distance. And then I'm going to stop him. Now he's thinking about it. If you remember when I first introduced him, how he just was all over me. And uh, had he didn't understand there was even a thing about personal space. So he's already picking up this, which is good. And you see how he's relaxed? He's relaxing now. Um, I always think about like when you, we were kids, um, if you're going to go play, you know, kickball or something like that. And if there was no adults around, sometimes the game would devolve into you're cheating and, you know, people getting mad and everything because someone's not paying attention to the rules. There's no ref, you know, kind of thing. And then they'd get a, an adult out there ref in the game, calling what was out, what was fair, what was a ball, all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden everyone's having fun. Okay. Think of it like that. A lot of this stuff is like that. You know, this horse is in, in, in our world. I'm going to help him learn how to be be around people and be comfortable not afraid not anxious he'll be able to trust me you know and see how he's yawning this is this is all very good to show you that um this is making an impression on him see how he keeps yawning well he's relaxing and he didn't look tense before did he but he was he wasn't he wasn't sure about what he should do and then, so then he's going to position and stuff and all that like kicking at me and even rearing up and striking at me and stuff like that that's him saying should I be the leader here you know and it's a little bit of fight you, you know animals have fight and flight mode right what you saw there when he turned his rear end towards me and kick at me or when he jumped up in the air and struck at me that was fight mode now a lot of it's ritualized, okay? I mean, he he wasn't that committed, okay? But he did do it, okay? And so that's something just take note of. And like I said, none of this is odd. This is just horse behavior, okay? Nothing, nothing about this is odd, strange at, at all. He's a really nice horse. Hey, bud. Okay, so I'm going to turn and walk away. Now I'm going to give him some direction. I'm going to point this way, see? He doesn't know what that means yet. I'm going to cluck. I'm going to raise the flag. Get moving. Now I'm going to go. Come on. Let's go. And so can, the, the idea with training horses is one of the most important things is being consistent. You know? And if you say go right... You don't stop until they go right, no matter how much you progress, uh, protests. You know, I don't mind this. Like, I'm not going to do anything with this head shaking or anything. This is just natural. This is him working through his emotions and stuff, okay? And so I'm not worried about it. He'll, he'll, he'll stop all this kind of stuff. And this is what I was just watching. We, we were just... we. Went to the other farm we have, and we, we moved a mare. We had to just have a vet look at her. And and when we were, Kevin and I were out there, we were looking at these, watching these other horses move around and stuff. And when they moved, like they all ran into this pasture, and there was horses doing that, shaking their head at the other horse, and the other horse is moving away. And see how he's coming to my space? No, come on. And... Uh, it was just, I said, look at that, Kev. You know, Kevin and I were just watching. We said, we just both enjoy watching the horses. And uh, so this is just natural. They do it with one another. Okay. Now I'm going to go this way. All right, come on. Let's go. Hup, hup. See, he's still kicking at me. Putting that pressure on him, and he's kicking And see how he came? He turned and he started walking towards. That was him just trying to take, I think, take some control back in this. And uh, see, right there. 
He's trying to think like, no, you can't move me. I move people. You don't move me. And so now I'm just going to move him. Keep moving. But I'm going to quit here just because I think he's a little stiff. And I'm going to try to end on a good note, okay? I'll put a little pressure on his rear end and try to get his, his head to turn here. And I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. Let me show you. This is my this is my feet, okay? When I'm when I'm moving towards the horse here, I'm walking towards the horse. I'm not doing this, stepping back and going around a circle like that. I'm always walking towards the horse. Okay, see how I'm walking towards the horse. And uh, especially with a stallion like this you want to you don't want to make that mistake mares are also critical with this so now i stopped Let's see if i can get him to look i'm just flicking the flag just a hair good good i'm gonna come in and touch him let him know it's okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There you go. I touch him. Now I'm going to go and get his halter and his lead rope, and I'll put it on him. I'm just going to do just a tiny bit with that, I think. Here's that. See how he does. Come here, buddy. Okay. Good. And the stud horses, they tend to be, well, any, not just studs, any males, tend to be a lot more mouthy than the, the fillies and the mares. And uh, this is what they do, you know. So now I'm just gonna see, see what he does here. I'm gonna, I'm giving him what I consider direction get. He doesn't know what this means. And I'm spinning my rope here. Now get him to move. Good. I'm just annoying him. Get out of my space. Come on. See how he's not getting out of my space. Come on. He doesn't know what this means. Okay, come on. Now I'm gonna get the flag, because I don't, I'd rather use the flag if he's not gonna, back up, back up. I got him out of my space like that, see? And if I could have got it, got out with just lifting it, I would have done it, but he didn't move. Come on. Now you don't wanna put it, I'm not gonna do it, but you don't wanna put the flag under his blind spot like that, because it's a good way to get struck right now, so. Now, I'm moving it off, to, I'm just flicking it on the side here. Get him to move, there we go, good boy. Good boy, come on. See how he's striking at me? So him doing that, like just standing there was challenging me, see. Come on, you got it. No. No. Got to get him to stop that direction. Get him to go the other direction. No, that's it. There you go. Good. 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 Now he's pulling to the end of the rope here. 
We only have a little bit left. We've got about 18 inches left. And uh, give the disengage his hind end that. See you. So now I'm going to get him to go this way. Come on. Come on, Junior. Let's go, buddy. There you go. Good. Good. Now see how he's pulling a lot, okay? This will all go away. I'm trying to, I want slack in the rope. I'm trying to give it to him, but he keeps going to the end of the rope. And he's pulling on, see? He's pulling. I'm really trying not to. See, he got all the slack in the rope, so I don't give him a direction. No, come on. There you go. Get him to move that way. Change in directions, you know. There you go. Go that way. Come on, buddy. It's always ugly before it's pretty. Come on, see how he does it? He's just really protesting. There you go. Good. Good. And he'll start picking up on that good like that. And I send it, say it, try to say it in a lower tone. Horses, when they're calm, it's a low like that. When they're excited, it's high. So like when you're training dogs, you like to do high commands because they're like, hark, 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 hark. dogs are like that. They, loud means, or high pitch means happy. Where low with a dog is not happy. Horses are the opposite. So if you're gonna use your voice, voice you want to these low tones as a praise instead of high tones. It'll just help. It just seems more like them. No, 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 this way. There you go. Good. There you go. Good boy. And I like to change direction because each, each time's a a learning opportunity. Switch hands. See, he knows what this means. He knows now. He just doesn't want to do it. He's crowding in the space and stuff. When I say he knows it, I mean he's got an idea. I mean he's moved. He's moved off of my pressure before, and he's. But when they protest against it, they'll move into it. There you go. See, I tried to use less. And see how he's getting some slack in the lead rope now? Because he's starting to figure it out. Now I'm going to look at his rear end, do the flag, and try to get him to disengage, disengage his hind end. Let's go this way. Come on, let's move. See, like, so I start off light and then I accelerate till I get the motion I, or the response I'm looking for. You don't stop until you get the response you're looking for. Eric and I were talking about that today. Now, giving him, I got my hand over here, see? And And he, he moved off. Now, see now, so now he's coming into my space. So I just easy moved him out, okay? And I didn't get him to the end of the rope. Well, he's getting there now, but 
Okay, come on, keep going. No, nope, don't get into me. All that kind of stuff's really important to pay attention to them coming into your space, cutting circles in half or shaving something off, stuff like that. It could mean that there's something out there that's getting their attention more and they're more concerned about that so they come into your space and um, and or it just could be that they're, they're actually challenging you but it, you just got to keep remembering that these are big animals and them stepping on you is a, a bad idea <laughs> even if it's just because they're not paying attention now I've got my hand over here and I'm starting to flag I'm getting larger there until he moves off. You notice how he's paying attention to me now. There you go, that's good. Now I'm gonna stop. Exhale. I've got the I've got this over here. Um, the direction I'm Showing him is this way with my other arm. And now I'm going to take the flag. And get large until he moves. See how he's, I like how he's, he's getting some slack in the rope now. And what I'm also doing is I'm, my sternum is pointing at his drive line, just behind his drive line. And I'm, I'm focusing on that with my vi vision and that pressure right there will keep him moving but he is like oh, he's stopping there now he was turning his rear end towards me so here we go so I, now I'm going to switch hands got the flag in this hand now now he's got a little pressure on on his on his halter. Now he's he's walking into it, so I got to get large and stop that. Come on, let's go, move. Come on. No, no, go. Oh. There you go. Good. Okay. And that's the kind of stuff you just got to make sure that you get the response you're looking for. I wanted him to change directions, he didn't want to change directions, so I just got him moving like that. I see his rear end is, is towards me. The rear ends is their power, and one of their biggest defense things is to kick with their rear end, so to have it towards you like that is, is like keeping himself ready to defend himself, I guess. So now I'm gonna switch hands. Again, switch direction. I'm gonna start here. Give him a chance. There, he did that really well. Now I'm just, see, I just got him out of my space a little bit. And sometimes when they crowd in like that, they can go from being challenging to being like, oh no, like in there, like a little hole, you know, like where, well, I want to go to mommy, you know, and so they, they can do that. So it's not always they're challenging you, but he, and he's done both. Like, like when he cut in like that time, I think he was like wanting um, kind of like security. And so they'll go back and forth with that stuff. So now I'm going to go and disengage his hind end a little bit. It's not pretty yet. All right. No. No, I gotta get large here with this. All right, come on. I'm giving a direction here. He's not paying any attention. There you go. Good. Good boy. Good. 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 I like how he's looking at me now. That's really good. Good boy. Now, see, come. Get my space. Get my space. 
There you go. And if you notice, I'm a little closer now, starting to learn the horse. And what I'm doing is I'm flicking that flag at his, his rear end and it's also his midsection, trying to get him to bend and first take his rear end away from me and also bend his body. This will help him loosen up. Okay, now switch. Go like this. Now I'm getting larger. There you go. Good. 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 Yeah, he's a really nice horse. Huh? I really like him. Come on, keep going, keep moving. And I think this is gonna be a good spot to stop. Like I said, I didn't wanna do him too long or too hard or anything. I'll try to get his rear end to... Nope. Switching hands again. Now, there. Get. See, he wants to cl climb into my space like that. I think that's like a security thing right there. See, I like how he's licking. He's got a real soft eye. He's a kind horse. There you go. Slide up. There you go. Good. Good. Okay, let's see if we can back up. Get out of my space. So you draw them and then you get them away too. Come on. There we go. Good. Switch hands. Now, flag is going to be a wall. There we go. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Touch him on the forehead. Tell him it's okay. It's okay, buddy. This will be a place I'm going to quit right now. Good. Nope. Back up. Back up. See, I climbed into my space again. There you go. No, get back. So he wants to come in. I was going to quit there, but I don't want to quit on him coming in. Now he's now he's leaving the country. Oh, he's not right there. Back up. Nope. No, back up. Got to, don't want to quit on a bad note. Got to quit on a good note. There we go. Oh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, come on. There we go. Good. Easy. I'm just getting to stop and quit coming in on me. Just stop. There. You know. Now, if I let him calm down here a little bit, I'll just see if I can get him to. Um, he may he may come in, and I may be able to get him out with just something subtle and then I think I'll quit it. Or I may just quit it here, but I just want to let him, good. He's dropping his head. He's relaxing. I'm gonna touch him on the forehead. Good. That's good. Okay, this would be a good place to stop. Should people subscribe? They should.
<laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.